levels of learning. Explore, imagine, create, empower. Here we are, it's day one. Um, we arrived late last night, the plane was delayed. So we came in, unpacked, and today we are out to see some pretty cool stuff. So when we come to Boston, not only do we go to the competition, which is like the highlight of the trip, we will also visit very specialized places that are on the cutting edge of technology and development of robotics. So today we're gonna go to the nerve center, which is a center that tests robots. Do you know what the nerve center is? No, what do you think it is? Robots all over the place. Have you been to any places like that in Jamaica? No. No place. Okay, so the 10 robots in the front here, these are very remote controlled, not a lot of autonomy. But this guy here is a pretty much a larger scale version of probably the types of robots you guys are building. It was really cool to see how all the robots were tested. They have a bunch of different scenarios so that they can ensure that it works well in any situation. I don't have a computer science degree or an engineering degree. With my fine arts degree, I learned how to, how to design something, regardless of what it is. Uh, you know, physical skills like building, and so it doesn't really matter, you know, if you're in a, a, a different domain, uh, because robotics is not really its own field. You apply robotics to other fields. And your So there are two main areas of the first Lego League competition. The first one is the project in which the teams have to do a research project identifying a problem and coming up with a solution that solves a problem and sharing the solution with other people. This year's theme happens to be Trash Check which involves solid waste. What we've done is to identify a problem in a community called Royal Palm which is affected by plastic bottles which runs down in the open sewers. We went down there every Saturday um, to find out more about their situation. I've never been there before. I don't really go to that side of uh, the harbor. They're all living under the poverty line. It's a very, very sad situation. They're surrounded by trash because they live right next to the building. Um, I think they really liked um, that we actually cared about the problem because they didn't really think anyone else would care. This year, we have two new members participating on the trip. Michaela is very enthusiastic about what she's doing. My condom is sticky because if I am doing something, it's really hard to get me to stop doing it. I'm kind of used to being around mostly boys because my community is like dominated by boys and my class is dominated by boys. I think now girls are trying to start doing things for themselves instead of having the guys like pick up something really heavy and do it for them. They're like trying for it. Adrian is more of a relaxed sort of person and does take a little bit of motivation but once he gets going, he's gone. Can't stop him. <laughs> I talk really slow and I don't always smile because when, when I don't have anything to smile about, I just like my face is just straight. I just stare off and think about stuff. The way you make things important in the presentation is how much time you spend talking about it. You, you, you have the audience all over the place. You guys need to focus because now is game time. And you have to have some excitement. You're like still kind of talking as if somebody has handed you the calculations. And you're the one that did it. What are you up, sir? Adrian. 
That's because he hasn't practiced enough. That will come. I don't like presenting things really. I get really frightened, so I, I just stand up there and I just can't say, get myself to say anything. Yeah, each person has 10 minutes in the show, max, time it. We're leaving in like the dark. Kind of makes you like tired. We're here at First Leg League competition in Worcester. I think it's gonna be a really exciting day. We put in a lot of work here preparing for this. So I was gonna go and have a lot of fun. Every year when you come to Boston, we sing the national anthem. It makes us represent our country really well. And Uncle Martin takes it very seriously. For the robot game, the teams have to design a robot that completes a series of missions in under two and a half minutes. I'm the captain of Lega Mind Koro's team, captaining a team of people younger than you and less experience definitely forces you to manage your time correctly and I tried to communicate the importance of teamwork. I've seen him grow from you know getting very disappointed when they were things weren't going well to just now telling me that oh well we'll just have to make the most of it. It's easy to win but when things don't go so well and you have to keep it together and perform and do the best at whatever is working that's the lesson that robotics has taught him. Uh, so right now we're in the judging area where we'll be tested on our core values robot design and project. Um, I think we're all feeling really excited because we get to show off what we've done and all our hard work. Because it's my first time I'm kind of nervous. I think I might mess it up but I want to keep thinking positive about it. When it came to my turn, I spoke out well and I, did, I smiled like Uncle Marvin told me to. Adrian presented very well. He knew his lines and exactly what he was saying. He's very comfortable as well. Well, we motivated Adrian by making him think about food. He mentioned food and there's a big smile on the guy's face. Mr. Saturday is your boss. Yeah? No more nerves, eh? We all had fun and learned a lot from this experience. The Builders team plays first in strategy and innovation. And that basically looks at how you approach the robot game and what strategies you use. We all feel very excited. It feels like our work paid out. But it's not just about what we win. We learned a lot from this experience and I'm actually glad the new members are able to make it to show them what it's all about. For the rest of the night, we're just going to relax and celebrate and take it easy. It's been a lot of work this week and we've been up late every night.
So right now we are at the house of a former MIT professor. His name is Mel King. He is the founder of the SETC Fab Lab, which we'll be visiting this afternoon. In 95, I got MIT to develop a course called Technology in Low-Income Communities. Over the years, uh, Mr. King has become a very wise person. By that he knows many different types of people and knows how to deal with them. It felt really good being there. And uh, they served a great deal of food there. And it was great. I just felt really nice and um, like I, you know, belonged. When I retired in 96, they asked if I wanted an office at MIT. I says, no, I want to start a technology center. And we opened it up across the street right there. We brought in folks you just like you, and they learn different programs, and then they teach them to 8 to 13 year olders. Real careful, so you do. There's like a couple of Are you good at it? Horrible. He is not human. Joyce is an alien from the planet, no art. Well, I just enjoy drawing and like creating something. Makes you feel happy. No. Good. You did a great look. You did a great job. <laughs> All right. Okay, so you got all your little pieces here. Here's this is your. This, where's your head? It's a robot Christmas ornament. We um, found out that Mr. King was responsible for implementing the Fab Lab and organizing the programs, and we were invited to come and have brunch before we, we did the workshop, and we've not stopped coming since. But we're, we're happy to benefit from what you've started. I'm benefiting from what you're doing. It's proof that what you're doing works, so we can tell people about your experience, which is as valuable as what we do here. You're acquiring a skill, you learn to share it, you talk about it, and then you work to make sure that you're Younger brothers, older brothers, sisters, learn it, and all your friends. <laughs>